Hi guys, today we're going to take a little tour of the beauty of Deep South Homestead. I know lots of you are still having snow and a lot of rain, but here in the Deep South, it's green and hot. And we like to grow a lot of stuff and it, it grows well here until it gets extreme hot. And as you can see, all the trees, they're all covered in leaves all through big, beautiful, giant trees. And my herb garden, we've taken things out of the uh, greenhouse and put in there. Some of the things from last year's growing. We'll give you a tour one day soon. Here are some Marconi peppers that we took out of the greenhouse and we already have peppers. These are our tomatoes from the homestead box. They're already blooming. This is just a pot of mint that has weathered it over the winter. Our jalapenos are starting to put on little blooms. And I have two types of ginger. This is one of them, and here is the other. It's good for stomach issues, so we keep plenty of ginger. Here are our butter peas. Danny has an irrigation system set up. They seem to be growing really, really well in the containers that we have. This is the Stoil Evergreen corn. It's sweet corn. Last year this time, we had a tragedy where the wind came through, strong line winds, and blew it down. But so far, it's doing great. English peas, still picking. They're doing good. Lemongrass is finally coming out. And here we have tomatoes and garlic. Everywhere you see a steak is tomatoes. The mulch is holding real well in my red raspberries and they are starting to grow. The green beans are doing pretty good in the containers. We've added some tomatoes and peppers to the other empty containers. The strawberries have been blooming and producing well. A pomegranate tree has really grown in the last few months. Here's the bed of strawberries that John helped Danny build. These are 75 tomato plants and they're looking great. We've got cages around some, sticks around others. They even have small tomatoes on them. I think these are the Amish paste. Our apple trees are blooming and we're hoping to have a good apple crop this year. We even have a few apples already. Even though it's blooming, there's still apples on it from the first bloom. Our clover is already dying. It's ready to be spread, so we'll have more clover next year. Our Alderman Farm horseradish is doing excellent. We have three of these bushes growing. The blueberries look like they're going to have an abundant crop this year. We have 50 trees here in this area. The peaches on the back hill, this one is blooming. It's just loaded with blooms. But this one, guess what? It bloomed early and we have peaches already on it. The sweet potatoes, they're looking really good. We have planted four rows. Each row was planted at different times. These are from slips that Danny and I grew in the greenhouse. There's about 200 of them here. Bullgrass, it puts on this long stalk and puts on a white flower at the end. Shortly, I'll show you the flower. These three rows of potatoes are doing well, hanging in there despite the ants and the heat. These four rows, the ants have been getting so, Danny's been digging on those potatoes. Our sugar cane is about three foot tall, so it's getting there, it's looking good. 
a new garden. We have some spaghetti squash up. We have peppers, tomatoes, eggplants, cucumbers. They all seem to be growing pretty well there. Most things are hanging in there. You see a lot of green. So they're doing well. These are tame blackberries that have started to bloom. We will be picking those in about a couple of weeks. A couple of pretty trees we have in the backyard. One is the flowering crab apple. This time of the year it is just gorgeous. With its pink blooms, red leaves. The other is the mimosa. This one towers over our backyard, puts out a lot of shade, and it puts on tiny pink blooms all over it. It's a beautiful tree. Our fig tree is producing exceedingly well. We have lots of figs, probably mm, 30, 40 gallons of figs this year. Our pecan tree has leafed out looks great. The other one still hasn't leafed out yet. Our rattlesnake beans are growing on this trellis that we have set up. Here is our scuppernons and there are mayhaws. They're all pretty and green this year. And over to the left, that is our plum trees. This is my cotton, guys. I've got five or six stalks of it that came up. So this is what cotton looks like, you asked. I'm showing. I replanted part of the row because a lot of it didn't come up. But we have cotton at Deep South. I hope you enjoyed this little tour. And we'll take you along next month and show you what kind of beauty we have here at Deep South. Thank you.